and this is your Rick Keys for today. Setbacks are just a part of life. They force you to step back and reevaluate your life. Pastor Ricky G. Rush. Tough times don't last, but tough people do. If you've ever experienced a setback, it's kind of like this picture. This guy is in a setback. He's not starting with the rest of them, and he's way behind. But even though he's in a setback, he had the potential to beat everybody. Your setback might be your set up for your comeback. My name is Heaven, and that was your keys for today. Good morning, Gabak family. I'm Carson, and you're watching IVOC It Is. Today is Sunday, November 1st, and we are so grateful. It's election season, and the ballots are long, and time seems short. I'm sure it's got a lot of us thinking. Ha! I think I'm going to watch some TV after a long day. Who is Spider-Man? What do we really know about him? Don't vote for Spider-Man. He's not who we think oh. he is. Captain America hates vegetables. How can we trust someone who doesn't like vegetables? Is he even from America? If Gecko is so great, why doesn't he come out in the daytime? Green is not even his favorite color. <sighs> There's so much going on in the world. It's so much to think about. What am I supposed to do? I know. Ah, Philippians 4 verse 8. Finally, brothers and sisters, whatever is true, whatever is noble, whatever is right, whatever is pure, whatever is lovely, whatever is admirable, if anything is excellent or place worthy, think about such things. I know there's a lot of the news lately and a lot to think about, but the Bible clearly encourages us to think on good things. What a word. Let's think on good things and keep praising God. We're so proud of all of you who voted early. Way to set the model. If you didn't get to vote yet, remember election day is Tuesday, November 3rd. Please go vote. In other news, there's always great things happening at the UD. Here are a few trending topics from last week. Check it out. Good morning, family. We had an incredible week of school at the University of Dreams, and here is a little taste of excellence from the school that Faith built. It's your trending topics only from the University of Dreams. Number one. Prayer. Prayer. It's amazing to work and serve at the University of Dreams and IBOC. Every morning, our entire staff gathers together to pray. We pray for our school. We pray for our church. We pray for our pastor. We pray for our scholars. And we pray for you. So just remember, at the University of Dreams, we've got you covered in prayer. Number two, rock solid faith. October was Breast Cancer Awareness Month, and our educators and scholars from our Leadership and Arts Academy had a special way of encouraging our cancer survivors. They decorated rocks with inspiring words to remind them to keep their faith rock solid. Number three, chapel. Let me tell you something. A chapel service at the University of Dreams is an amazing experience. Our scholars are proving that prayer and praise are greater than a pandemic, and we give God all the glory. Number four, 
our storybook character parade. Leaders are readers, and last Friday, we had an amazing event to encourage our scholars to grow in their love of reading. Every staff member and every scholar dressed up as a storybook character, and even blind Bartimaeus stopped by to direct traffic. Let's hear more about this event from our amazing directors. Family, we have had a phenomenal day today, as we always do, at the University of Dreams at IBOC. Today was a fabulous day where we celebrated books and reading comprehension. So this was called our Story Book Character Costume Parade and Read Aloud. And I tell you, we have been blessed. The reason we do this is to continue to develop a desire and a love for reading and learning in our scholars. And Sister Hunter, it was just amazing, don't you think? It was absolutely yes. amazing. Our scholars were blown away. They had so much fun and it was so exciting. They came in, we had detailed schedules going on. It was amazing. We had different sections for them to hear different stories. Mm -hmm. And these are the characters from the stories. We are so excited and we are going to just continue to love, love, love our reading. Thank you. We give God the glory. And those are your trending topics for the week only at the University of Dreams. That's all we have for this week on IBOC and Remember, join us at Monday School at 7 p.m. I'm Carson, and you've been watching IBOC and Ed. Bye. IB! OC! Welcome to IBOC Junior, a place where the kids of IBOC and the teens of IBOC virtually come together to praise God. We are challenging you to show us what you learned from an iBox service. Kids, you can send your videos to the email kids at iboxchurch.org and teenagers, submit your videos to teens at iboxchurch.org. We have one team with one mission to praise one God. This is iBox Junior. Junior, this is a place where kids get to tell what they learn from Sunday or Monday. So let me tell you what I learned from Sunday. Pastor Rush was talking about endurance, and you have the choice to endure. Let's go to a clip about endurance. We're going to talk about endure today. Endure. That's the word I want you to remember. Endure. Somebody said, what are you trying to do? I'm trying to endure. What are you going to do? I'm going to endure. To endure is a decision. And once you make that decision, You'll find out that's a very quality decision. And then you can make another decision and another decision and another decision because decisions, when, when you learn to endure, you make decisions that are going to make a difference. Wow. That was amazing. You have the choice to endure. Okay, you've heard from the kids. Now it's time to hear from our teenagers. We have Brother Chris to tell you what he learned from Monday School. Right now, we're still here focusing with a little plant that we have. That plant's been here for now probably two or three, maybe four weeks. This plant, this piece of plant is totally dependent on this water. I'm Brother Chris, and this is my recap of last Monday. Pastor talked about how Satan is always trying to grab you out of the water. Has God ever put you in a place where you were so blessed, so blessed of what you were doing, and you saw someone else doing the same job but accomplishing more goals than you, and you became jealous? Well, God has people on earth to mentor you, to teach you the ropes. Satan, he comes in and tries to mess it all up. And, uh, hey, no, you go do what they're doing and, and push you for failure. So the question is, can you survive in the water? Thank you so much, Chris. That was amazing. Now it's your turn. If you're a kid and you would like to share what you learned from a Sunday or Monday service, just email your creative video to kids at ibachchurch.org. It's right down here, kids at ibachchurch.org. And if you're a teenager, you can do the same. Send your video to teens at ibachchurch.org. That's teens at ibachchurch.org. Now before we get into Pastor Rush's message, let's do a quick throwback from the men of God singing, This is the Word of God. 
Rock has always been a place where the men of God have been the foundation of the church. Throughout the years, our ushers have worked tirelessly to make sure that everyone who enters the building feels safe and welcome. They are men of God. They are covered by God. They cover their families. They cover their ministry. They cover their pastor. We thank God for our IBOC servants. And this is the Word of God.